you can draw this in Procreate. All of you have been following my tutorials and sharing your artworks on Instagram. And since you've been practicing so much, I thought that maybe this time we can make it a bit more challenging. So we will be drawing this tropical beach scene in Procreate. And all we will be using are the brushes that are already in Procreate. So let's get started. First of all, our canvas. It's 2,500 by 2,500 pixels. And we will get started by making a gradient in the sky. And we will do that with the soft brush, which you can find under airbrushing. And of course, I have made a color palette for you again, and you can download it through a link in the description. We will get started with this nice blue color. Let's turn our opacity up and let's make our brush nice and big. Let's say 30%. And we will start with the top of our sky. And then we will switch to a very light color. This one right here. And we will paint the bottom part. Pretty easy so far, right? And I will switch to this middle blue color and we'll make a stroke right here. Maybe let's add a little bit more of this light blue right here. And now we are going to the magic wand right here and use the Gaussian blur. And we will swipe our pen to the right and we will blur our layer. Let's say 44.1%. Next thing we'll do is make a new layer. And you can do that by just clicking the plus. And then we will make a selection. And you can make a selection using this S-shaped ribbon. And be sure to select rectangle. And we will make a selection that is about half of our canvas. Let's say right here. And we will fill that with this blue right here. You can just drag in the color like this and it'll fill that rectangle that we just made. Now click the S again to deselect and go to your layer palette. Now to be sure that we will only be painting inside of this rectangle, you can click the layer and select alpha lock. Now all the layers are locked in place. So wherever there are no pixels on the canvas, you can't start making pixels right now. We can only paint on the pixels that are locked on the layer. And we will start painting some sand. And we will use this color for that. And I'm sorry if I'm spitting on the screen, but that's perfectly normal for me anyway. Okay, let's use the soft brush again, which is under airbrushing, it's still there. And let's paint some sand. We'll just make a, well, what is it? Kind of like an oval shape, a little bit of a curve. There. And it's okay if it's a bit of a gradient right here, that's nice. That's what we want. And I will use this lighter sand color to add a little bit of lighter touches. And the brush is still the same size, by the way. It's still 30%. There. Now we have some nice sand. Next step is to make a new layer. So we'll click the plus again and it'll be a layer which is on top of our sky and our water and sand layer. And we will start using a texture brush, the Cura Wong brush. And I will be picking this sand color. And now we will start painting some sand on the horizon. And the brush size is 2%. And you can just make a line across the horizon, hold your pen in place to make a perfect straight line. 
like that and maybe we can also just switch to that lighter color and add a little bit of light touches as well just like that we're making some nice land there and now it's time to add some bush and we'll do that on a new layer again so go to these two little squares and click the plus to make a new layer on top of that horizon sand horizon layer that we just created and we will go to organic the organic brushes right here and we will pick the rainforest brush and we will pick this middle green and our brush size is 2% and the opacity is at 100% and now we will start painting some some trees in the background and we are gonna make them a bit higher in the middle of our painting and we are gonna make some smaller ones near the edges if there is this pretty island in the distance. Now, some of you have been asking if I am planning to do a face reveal, or well, actually just one person asked. So I thought maybe this is a great time for a little face reveal. So um, yeah, here it is. Hello. Uh, I'm sorry, that's my uh, my regular off-camera voice. But uh, yeah, that that's it. That's my little face. No, but in in all seriousness, if you really want to see my face, it's really not a secret. You can just check out my video with the world's biggest one-line art challenge. It was pretty amazing to do that one line art challenge and I think I nailed it so you got to check it out. You can just click the card in the upper right corner if you want to check it out or I'll just, you know, I'll just leave a link in the description. So once you are done with this tutorial, you can go check out the one line art challenge that I did. All right, we're going to switch up the colors a little bit. We're going to go for this lighter color and just add some light touches as well just to vary that color of the trees a bit. We'll make our brush a bit smaller. We'll go to 1% just for some little light touches. And I will switch to the darker green and we will add some shadow parts underneath here because the light is coming from above because the sun, it's usually above the land, of course. So light is coming from above and that will cause a shadow to be here because the light is on top of the trees and leaves are hanging here and they are making this shadow. So make sure that you make the underside of the trees a bit darker and the top side a bit lighter. And we still have our brush size set to 1%. Perhaps some darker lines here and on this side as well. All right, now we are going to work on the waves. And notice my matching nails, by the way. All right, we're gonna work on the waves by adding a new layer. And we'll do this on top of our beach and water layer. That's layer two, so click that layer first, and then click the plus. Under elements, you can find the brush oceans. And that one will use to create some waves. And we'll pick this slightly darker blue. And we 
have our brush size set to 25%. And we're just going to add some really subtle waves. Like that. Just make these horizontal strokes, adding these subtle waves. Now we have added some subtle waves. We are going to add even more waves and we'll do that by again adding a new layer by clicking the plus and this time we will set the layer to add. And we'll continue using this waves brush but we will switch back to this light blue color. And now we will add some lighter lighter waves. Just like that. And you can make the brush a bit smaller when you make waves in a distance. Let's say with an 18% 18, 18 brush size. Because of course the waves will appear to be smaller in the distance. Now finally for this water I would like to add a little bit of light near that beach over there because the water will appear lighter where it is more shallow because well the sand is closer to the surface and well light will bounce and yeah well i'm not like a scientist but i know that near the beach the water will look brighter a lighter you a lighter blue so let's do that on a new layer We'll click the plus again, and we will also set this layer to add. And we will go back to our soft brush, which is under airbrushing. And before we do anything, let's add a layer clipping mask to these layers. And that's mostly because I want this new layer to be clipped to the water. And I also want it to be above these waves. So we need to clip these first two as well to be able to clip our third layer to our water. Because we don't want this stroke to show up on our sky. We only want it to show up on our water. Now we are going to go to the magic wand and use the Gaussian blur to blur this slightly. Let's say 25%. And of course, this is way too extreme. So we are going to move it up so that we just have this slight edge near that beach on the other side. Click the arrow again to deselect it. We are going to move forward and make that foam on the beach, that wave that is crashing into the sand here. And we will again make a new layer. And we don't need a clipping mask for this. We will pick a new brush, which is under industrial, right here. And we'll use rusted decay. And we'll use this grayish blue. And we will start painting in that wave. I'm gonna set my brush to 10%. And we're going to paint in that wave. Now it's closer to us here at the front. Just make a wavy motion. Now if you are really enjoying these tutorials that I post here on YouTube, and if you are getting withdrawal symptoms whenever there is no video to watch, then you might like my Patreon page because over there, I post a lot more videos. So um, yeah, you have hours and hours more to watch there. Oops, 
I messed up here. I'm going to go to my uh, eraser to fix this here. We don't want that there. Okay, back to the brush and then I'm gonna pick this lighter, almost white color and I'm gonna decrease the brush size to 3%. And let's go along this edge here. Because right here, it'll be a bit lighter that wave. That's where all that foam is accumulating. That's where you have this little bit of a kind of a ridge. I'm not sure what to call it, but it is lighter there. That's the most important thing. So we'll make this kind of edge. Maybe some lighter foam over here. I guess this is kind of the more challenging part of this tutorial because it involves a little bit of real painting and observing on your part. Let's go to 7% for a brush size to lighten up this area a bit. So yeah, it's a bit more challenging perhaps than the other videos but I believe you can do it. I like the way this looks. To make parts of this foam appear a bit more subtle, a bit see-through, because of course we will be able to see that sand through the water, since water is transparent we can use a layer mask just click that layer on which we have painted the foam and click mask now it's automatically set to black our color and now we can use the same brush that we just used to mask some parts of this foam and just make it a little bit transparent in places And if you erase or mask too much, you can just switch to pure white by double tapping here and then you can paint parts back in. So you are in full control. Make the brush a bit smaller, 5%. And I would really advise you to also just look at some reference photos, look at real waves, real beaches, go to real beaches to study. Let's make a new layer on top of this. So just click the plus and on this layer, we will use an elements brush again. And this time we'll use the water brush. And we'll keep using this very light color. And we are going to paint in some of this water. Our brush is set to 7%. And it's super easy to add some water, watery details like this. But don't go overboard though. Just keep it subtle. I think that's nice. For our next step, we will make a new layer below these foam layers that we just made. So you have to go to this blurry layer that's that light near the horizon and click the plus to make a new layer above that one. And we will set this layer to multiply. What you need to do is click that N and scroll up 
to multiply. And we will use an airbrush, the soft brush again, and pick this dark sandy color. And like I said, you can just download the palette through the link in the description if you want to use the same colors I'm using. I'm gonna make the brush a bit smaller. Let's go for 8%. And I'm going to lower the opacity to 50%. And I'm gonna darken this area a little bit because perhaps you went to a beach at some point in your life and perhaps you notice that whenever sand is wet, it looks a bit darker. Maybe you've been playing with sand and water and then you will also have this knowledge. So it's a bit darker when it's wet. So naturally, wherever this wave has been, the sand will be a bit darker. Make the brush a bit smaller, 4%. So also here, that's where the wave has already been. It's a bit darker there. Also add some shadow there. I'm sorry, I'm switching sizes all the time, but it's necessary. 8% now. We'll darken this area just a little bit. And now we will make a little shadow underneath this edge of the foam. So we'll make our brush smaller again. Let's make our brush 3%. Now make a little dark edge right underneath that foam. Let's make the brush even smaller. Let's go for 2%. And make sure that you don't make this shadow too thick, because if you make the shadow too thick or too big or whatever you want to call it, it will appear as if this wave is floating. So you want that shadow to be really close to that edge. Really close. Because you don't want a floating wave. But you can see that it's already starting to look more realistic, but just adding this little edge of a well, shadow edge. For the next step, we are going to create some clouds. And you are guessing it, we are gonna make a new layer for that. We are going all the way to the top, to our bush layer, and we will click the plus. To paint some clouds on this new layer, we will go to the clouds brush, which you can find under elements. And we will use this very light blue color to create these clouds. And we have our size set to 10%. Let's start adding some clouds. Let's zoom out a little bit by pinching. Just some fluffy clouds. Let's vary the size of our brush a bit. Let's go to 7%. So we can add some smaller fluffs. Fluffies. And just create a random cloud shape. And again, you can look at reference photos. There's Definitely nothing wrong with that. I really advise you to look at reference photos and to look outside your window. Go outside and look at real clouds. Because you can only paint something after you have actually studied the, the subject. So don't be afraid to grab some reference. I'm gonna make the brush even a bit smaller, 5% for these very small clouds here. For some little details. And 
And for a final touch, we will move back to our all time favorite soft brush, which is under airbrushing. It is set to 2% right now. And we will just use that to soften some parts of that cloud because the clouds brush, it gives a little bit too hard, hard details. And you don't want that, that overall hard edged look in your cloud. So the soft brush is great to soften some parts up. And you can vary the size a bit, go to 5% to soften it a bit more, these bigger areas. I'm gonna go back to 4%. And I'm going to 2%. But really just try to get a feel for those brush sizes. Just play around with that. There's some extra fluffs in our clouds. Maybe a little fluffy there. making these small little dabs. There we have our tropical scene. I want to dive right in. Now, if you enjoyed this video, then you might like these two as well. So go check them out. See you next time.